Uh, Days G. Uh, my account recently got hacked by a keylogger on Steam, and I was wondering how I can permanently remove the keylogger from my PC. Please help me. Thanks. Uh, pull out the hard drive, throw away the hard drive, plug in a new hard drive, reinstall the operating system. Away you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's probably what I would do. If I really thought it was like a keylogger virus on the hard drive, I would probably toss the hard drive, to be honest with you. Um, if you don't want to toss a hard drive, basically what you need to do is you need to pull your data off, whatever files, pictures, whatever that you care about. Uh, and then basically you need to format the hard drive, do a full format of the hard drive, uh, reinstall the operating system, and go from there. Uh, if a computer is actually infected with a virus, especially if you know it has in fact attacked you, such as trying to take over your Steam account, uh, I would not, I, I would argue antivirus and anti-malware and all that kind of stuff has already failed you and not to bother with any kind of tune-up or clean-up. Basically start from a clean slate. Uh, again, I've seen some of these viruses nowadays. Um, they can be complete bastards to actually get off of hard drives. And again, if you've already been attacked, if you're like a little worried about it, if you're like, oh, my computer's a little slow, fine, do a format, reinstall your operating system and go on. But if you're saying my account has already been compromised, um, I don't think I would trust the hard drive, to be honest with you. So I would probably pull the hard drive, chuck the hard drive, put a new hard drive in, reinstall the operating system, and away you go. Um, that would be my advice. I know a lot of people are going to bitch and moan and complain about that, but it really is the truth because so many of these viruses nowadays are really nasty. And if you don't get rid of them properly, um, they can they can just sit there and continue to cause havoc and continue to cause problems. Um, yeah. So that would be my thought. Toss the hard drive, put a new hard drive in, reinstall.